Hello all. Today we are going to discuss about a topic called division by using restoring method. In division we have a two types. Either we can use restoring method or not restoring method. To perform a division by using restoring method, we need to know four steps. Okay, this is slightly different from the Booth algorithm. So let us take an example as eleven by three. Eleven is a dividend and three is a divisor. If we perform eleven divided by three, so you will get the output as. 3 as a quotient and 2 as the remainder so later we'll perform by using restoring division method how you will get the quotient as well as the remainder before going to the restoring division problem let us discuss about the algorithm so as usual as similar like booth algorithm here we need a three registers m a q and n represents number of bits first i will clarify these three points m is a divisor according to this example 3 is a divisor so m is 3 and a is initially loaded with 0 and q is a dividend here dividend is 11 and then n represents number of bit first we will find out number of bits assume 11 Eleven will be represented in the binary notation as one zero one one. So one zero one one is a eleven. And what about the divisor three? So it is used to represent one one. So which one is maximum? Dividend is maximum. So we have to take this as the number of bits. So the small n is four here. But according to this algorithm. The m should be taken as n plus one bits, so which means four plus one, which is equal to five bits. But the q will be similar as n bits, so q is four, and a a register will need n plus one bits, so four plus one five bits. So m is needed five bits, q is needed four bits, and a is needed again five bits. So m and a are similar, n plus one bits, and q will need only the n bits. So after the second step, we are going to perform shift left. In both multiplication of positive number and Booth algorithm, we've done arithmetic shift right, and then and then normal shift right. Here shift left. Shift left means we have to. Move the value from left. Okay, so that is the one one condition here. And once I perform, we have to perform a equal to a minus m, or else we can rewrite it as a tends to a plus of minus m. In this example, m is three, so m will be represented n plus one bits. So three is m equal to three. Which is represented n plus one bits, so three is represented in the binary form of one one. Rest of them filled with zero. And what about minus m? Minus m convert all zeros into ones, and ones into zero, and add one to the LSB. So one 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 zero zero, and append one here. So one 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 zero one. So m equal to three. Obviously, minus m equal to minus three. Minus three will be rewrite us like this. Once we perform this operation, check the sign of a. Sign means what? Either it is a positive number or negative number. So sign should always be indicated at the m must be. So most significant bit will indicates the sign. So if the most significant bit is one, we have to set the q not. You know what is Q and Q not. Q not is the LSB. So this is Q not. So set the Q not to zero and perform add a tends to a plus m. So which means if we perform like that, so we can restore the a value. Which means we perform this, the a the a plus m value should store in a. Else just set Q not to one alone. This is the two conditions. In both the case, we have to reduce the n value. If the a is one, we have to perform this. 
if a is zero we have to perform this in both the cases we have to reduce the n value and check if n equal to equal to zero if n equal to equal to zero so quotient is stored in q and remainder is stored in a else go to step 2 listen carefully go to step 2 again we have to perform from here ok so we will go get into the problem so q is 11 m is 3 so m will be represented as a 5 bits and q is represented as a 4 bits so in this thing operation a q n small n is number of times so a is n plus 1 bits so all the 5 bits initially loaded with 0 and q is n bit so what is n here n bits means 11 11 is the q so 1 0 1 1 so it should stored with 4 the n value should store with 4 now we will start shift left a q so this one is shifted here this one is shifted here this zero is shifted here and you may have a question what about this place this place i am creating it as a empty one so everything shifted to a left side so this one is shifted here and this zero is shifted like this you will get the a value as 0, 0, 0, 1 and 0, 1, 1 this will be blank after perform this we have to perform a tends to a plus of minus m what is the a value right now 0 0 0 0 1 and what about minus m 1 1 1 0 1 add the two value 1 plus 1 10 0 plus 0 plus 1 so your answer gets like this 1 1 1 1 0 that should be stored in a so that should be stored in a ok this place leaves empty the third step is check the sign of A. I already said the sign should be indicated the most significant bit. Here the most significant bit is 1. So if the most significant, if the sign of A is 1, we have to set Q0 to 0. So set Q0 to 0. So because of this one, I am setting Q0 to 0. Once I performed again, A tends to A plus M. Now a value is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 and then m value is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Add these two things 0 plus 1, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, the 1 is carried left out. So that should be stored in again a. See here now the a value is 0, 0, 0, 1. Before performing this operation, A value is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0001. Now also A 0, 0, 0, 0, 0001. This is called as restoring. I am restoring my A value. Once I perform restoring the A value, reduce the count. My count value is initially 4. Now it is reduced to 3. Okay. Next, check if n equal to equal to 0. The condition is false. So I have to go to the step 2. So go to the step 2 means what is the first step? Shift. So this 0 is shifted here. This 1 is shifted here. This 1 is shifted here. Now here again it will create the empty space. Okay. This 0 is shifted. This 1 is shifted. After performing this operation, I will get the A value and this is the Q value. This will be leave as it is empty. Then A tends to A plus of minus M. Now check the A value. 0 0 0 1 0 you know what is the minus m 1 1 1 0 1 add everything 0 plus 1 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 so everything you will get it as 1 1 1 and q value is 1 1 0 this will be left empty okay now we have to check the sign of the a sign of the a means most significant bit of a if it is 1 again we have to set the q0 value as 0 that empty space will be filled with 0 once i perform this i have to add a plus m now what is the a value 1 1 1 1 1 what is the m value 0 0 0 1 1 10 
11 10 10 10 1 is carry left out so 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 before starting this process your a value is this now value now also the a value is zero, this which means restoring my a value again my count value is reduced to 2 okay now check n equal to equal to 0 no the condition is false else go to again we have to perform shift left q so this 0 is shifted here this 0 is shifted here this 1 is shifted here this place will create an empty and this 1 is shifted and this 0 is shifted this 1 is shifted that's why it will become 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 it will create an empty space so once I check that I have to perform a tends to a minus m so which means a tends to a plus of minus m check the a value 0 0 1 0 1 what about minus 1 1 1 1 0 1 10 1 10 10 10 1 is left out so you will get 0 0 0 1 0 the q value is as it is then check the sign of a see the sign of a is 0 if a is 1 we have to perform this if a is 0 obviously else part we have simply set q not equal to 1 so my q not value is set as 1 here and reduce the count value now the 2 is reduced to n 1 ok check now n equal to equal to 0 no else go to step 2 perform this shift a and q now 1 is shifted here 0 is shifted here and 0 is shifted here 1 is shifted here 0 is shifted and 1 is shifted 0 is shifted and 0 is shifted this 0 will be left out so you will get the answer as 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 here it will create empty space so after that what we will do we have to perform a plus of minus m so what is the a value right now 0 0 1 0 1 what is the minus m 1 1 1 0 1 so 10 here it will become 1 10 10 10 this one is left out so you will get the output as 0 0 0 1 0 so see here 0 0 0 1 0 and here it will create an empty space check the sign of a sign of a means most significant bit of a the most significant bit of a is 0 so we have to go for else part so it should set q not to 1 so i am setting q not to 1 and reduce the count n value n value becomes 0 if n equal to equal to 0 the quotient is stored in q so this is quotient 0 0 1 1 and remainder is stored in a 0 0 0 1 0 if you perform a normal division operation 11 by 3 3 is a quotient and 2 is a room remainder 3 should be represented in the form of binary is 1 1 and remainder should be represented in the form of 1 0 so check the answer both the answers are correct i hope you would like this video if you need more videos please leave a comment which topic you need a video and if you like the video please subscribe and share this video to your friends thank you all